Hi, I'm Bill O'Brien with Point Lighting Corporation. We're here at Heli Expo 2017 in Dallas, Texas. Uh, today we're going to concentrate on our new Morse code LED beacon with reprogrammable feature for field reprogramming, uh, changing the message in the field. Uh, recently, Point Lighting completed an all-new redesign of all of our flashing LED beacons. This redesign covered over 17 different versions of our beacons, including our FAA, ICAO, Transport Canada Certified Obstruction Lighting Flashing Beacons. Um, today we're going to be talking specifically about our new Morris beacon is going to be set to the standard ICAO message of H, and we're going to show how they can easily be pre-programmed in the field. Today we're going to switch it to a common message of SOS, and you're going to see how simple and easy this is to create a customizable message with the new beacon. So you see the beacon, it'll come on, and it has four short bursts, which will be the Morse code message for H, or the letter H. Um, while the beacon is depowered, our new handy dandy field, re field reprogrammer, um, there's three additional wires that come um, besides the regular power wires for the beacon. Um, in the field, when connected to those wires, you can turn on our reprogrammable controller. Um, anybody can figure out how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset this message and as I said it was set to H. Click OK. You have to designate the number of characters. The message we're going to reprogram this beacon to is going to be SOS. Obviously the international um, symbol for distress. So we make the number of characters three. Click OK. And now it wants us to sign a letter for each of those characters. So we'll make this first letter S, confirm OK, move to the second letter, O, click OK, make the last one S again for SOS, click OK, and before you click the confirmation to that, the beacon must have power to it. So I'm going to quickly plug it back in. So once I click OK here, it will adjust the message to Morse code. Now the SOS is three short blasts, followed by O for three long blasts, or dashes, followed by an additional three short blasts. So simply, easily in the field, you can reprogram to a customizable message. A couple examples of this would be a military application where they would like the message to be top secret. Um, also, it can be uh, commercial usage. An example of this was a web TV series that did uh, Land of Energy. Um, the maximum amount of characters is 250 characters, so the opportunities to change the message are countless. If we want to simply change this back to the original message, we go through the same process again. We got the field programmer turned on, press OK to begin. We're going to change that right back to the ICAO standard of H. One character. Again, we're going to assign the letter H. We're going to click OK. And before we confirm that again, the beacon must have power to it. So again, we're resetting the, the beacon to the letter H. You see it's confirmed there as the one character that we're going to reassign this beacon to. The Morse code signal for H, as seen here is four short bursts. We're gonna make sure the beacon has power before we assign the new code. So once I plug it in here, it is still set to the SOS code. Once I click OK here, it gives me a confirmation on the controller, and now it's gonna to go to four short, bat, four short bursts and have the message be H. You see how simple it is.